Talk to Mathematica 8 in plain English and you'll get results. It's a first for technical computing. You can type uh, plain English in, get results straight out in a way that really has never been done before with a level of automation and sophistication combining data and computation that really hasn't existed before. There are two ways we're using freeform linguistic input in Mathematica. One is just to write in calculations, math, data, of course we can pull from the full set of uh, Wolfram Alpha data. Secondly, to operate existing functions and options in Mathematica, to have a, a quick and easy way, like add grid lines to a graph. Both of these improve ease of use quite dramatically. You can immediately get started with Mathematica 8, just straight out of the box, in the first few seconds. You can start typing calculations, and it'll just work straight, straight away. And that gives you tremendous confidence to move forward. But what's very nice is, as you type things in freeform linguistic input, where you just type in the sort of plain English, you then see the Mathematica language form that you would have used if you hadn't been using that new Wolfram Alpha style of input. And that means that if you want to then customize it, be more specific about exactly what you want Mathematica to do, it's very easy to learn and see how to do that and add to that. I think we're going to see not only initial users who've never used Mathematica before just be able to get straight into it, start accessing it, and then slowly learn some of the formal Mathematica that will help them build big systems with it, but also advanced users who want to access some of the thousands of functions and options that exist. And sure, they know how to figure it out and look it up and go through it, but it'll be much quicker to do it. So this way they'll use those options, use those functions much more readily than they would have in the past and make progress more quickly. The thing we've got here with Wolfram Alpha integration in Mathematica is really just the beginning of linguistic freeform input. We'll get certain functionality in Mathematica 8, we'll go on upgrading that, and you'll see this increase in power over time. Nobody has even remotely had this before. So it's a very big step, and we think it'll be quite revolutionary in allowing people to access what's an increasingly powerful setup of automation and computation that is available in Mathematica.